Hey YouTube, and today is going to be more of a different, sort of different, non-different kind of video. I'm going to show you how to set up your own kind of recording booth, sort of mini studio that you can take almost anywhere with you and get good quality out of what you get. So let's see how you do it. And obviously, like all my videos, something's going to have to do with the Chromebook. And yes, this video was edited on this little thingy right and we're going to use the video editor we video obviously so I'm just gonna open that yeah here we go so like after I've done that I'm in my basement right now because you know why not something says it's an error I got this is for later and I might need to record some other shots with this camera since that camera's recording you right now but let's get to the main point and see how you do this so let's get into it so first I had to bring my tripod in and you want a decent tripod something that can hold your camera and all your gear and everything like that I just have my normal tripod I raised it a little bit to give it some height to the, my face and I also brought in my camera I'm just supposed to you probably should want a quick release plate so you can just get up and go when you need to as you can see here and then you just mount your camera on top of it and after you do that then you're gonna want your audio gear I'm using my DIY lavalier microphone that I made in my other video it hooks up to your iPhone or iPod touch or even an Android phone with a recording app um, I'm using this um, headphones thing with a microphone in it and this is my favorite audio recording app so far this is my um, voice recorder free app okay so <clears throat> excuse me you need to stand like around this distance to like I said this distance is pretty good because you can get that kind of focus you need or you can stand a little bit closer but if you don't want to stand closer you can just zoom in on the subject and you also need good lighting fortunately for me right here is pretty good lighting but I also have another studio lighting kit that can be bought on Amazon for I don't know from twenty to thirty dollars which is just plain awesome so I'll show you that and I'll show you the post-production of this video okay so here's the beautiful softbox light um I only have one, but it's really all I need because I don't have really big um, white backdrops. This can, as you can see, the light it produces is pretty fantastic, including its price and what it's used for. And it's got a pretty long cord. The build quality is really nice. I'm impressed with the build quality for its price. So hey guys, this is the editing process. And this is actually a pretty complicated process. I will be doing a video next week where to show three, lots, lots, actually not just three, but lots of things how to uh, edit videos without syncing your audio. Now, I'm sorry I couldn't get the synced audio into here because somehow it just won't upload into it. And the synced audio from Lavalier on the first clip. I'm really sorry about that. I'm mad at we video. We video. Please improve that. I did not like that surprise. So thank you for watching YouTube, and I hope you enjoyed it. So that's basically everything I do to make a video. I just set something up, and I make one. And I hope that this helps you guys for making a video too. So you don't really need that much invested into all this gear. I mean, $200 Chromebook, $7 a month for the premium version of Wii Video, the camera that I used, right, well, yeah, <laughs> I was like looking around for it. Well, that I got it on sale, but it was originally around the $200 range. Um, you can get the Canon 550D slash T2i, no matter where you live, 
four used around $255. That's why I'm so impressed with the price. I recorded the B footage from this little um, Kodak Spark Hammer 720p HD. And remember, the lavalier microphone just needs a phone and your headphones. Actually, they don't sound too bad. At first, when you sound them out of these speakers, they sound horrible. But actually, when you turn the volume down in the post-production, remember, this, this, it helps so much for your post-production to turn the volume down, but you still have that crystal clear audio in your videos. So, I'll see you next week.